Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Reese Retro Toys. On today's episode, I'm going to give you an update to my toy collection. It's been a couple weeks since my last video and just because I haven't filmed toy adventures doesn't mean I haven't been purchasing some fantastic vintage and somewhat modern toys for my collection. I made a trip to DNE and I've also been purchasing some things online from Facebook sellers and whatnot. So I figured I'd give you guys a solid update. So without further ado, let's get to the toys. First up in the collection update are a couple of new Cops and Crooks figures that I picked up on a Cops and Crooks Facebook page that I'm on. My buddy Chad introduced that to me. Here is Hardtop and he is the driver for Ironside's assault vehicle. You may remember that I picked up the Ironside's assault vehicle at Kryptonite Toys up in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Uh, just maybe last month, maybe two months ago. And so I was on the lookout for the driver, which is Hardtop. And he's complete with his arm weapon and his visor that is very common to be missing. His visor can just be pushed down like that. And uh, the Cops and Crooks had regular vehicles, standalone in the boxes, and then they had deluxe vehicles that came with exclusive action figures. And um, the Assault Vehicle with Hardtop was one of those. And then I also picked up this Sergeant Mace Cops and Crooks figure, and he is 100% complete as well. There's his giant cap gun that you would put the cap rolls into. And uh, I, again, you know, I just continue to find and track down some of these Cops and Crooks figures that I need for my collection. And uh, these were two that I did. And I'm, I'm happy I found these at a decent price because Hardtop especially is usually kind of one of the more expensive figures. Uh, but I was able to snag him for only 20 bucks. Then next up, my buddy Chad gave me this Cobra Adder vehicle from the vintage G.I. Joe line. Nobody beats G.I. Joe! But Cobra's got the firepower of the Adder and it's double trouble. Nobody beats G.I. Joe! The G.I. Joe RPV launch it and it scouts out the enemy! But now Destro's taken on the RPV with his despoiler. Destro's back, Destro's back, Destro's back and he's on the attack! But nobody beats G.I. Joe, a real American hero! Spoiler comes with Destro, at her G.I. Joe RPV, other vehicles and figures sold separately. And Chad knew that I was on the hunt for this vehicle because this was one of two G.I. Joe vehicles that I had as a child. This and the Silver Mirage motorcycle and sidecar was the other one. And I mean, it's by no means a rare or, or hard to find or complete piece, but I just never had the opportunity to pick it up again and I was always hunting for this because it was the one that I had from childhood. In fact I still have my childhood one but it's pretty much in pieces. Uh, but Chad was digging through one of his boxes in the basement and found a double of this and he didn't need it so out of the kindness of his heart he knew I was looking for it he just went ahead and gave it to me. That's truly the sign of a good friend and so thank you Chad you are the man. And speaking of gifts, Chad and I's buddy, David, out in Illinois, sent me this extremely rare Series 2 Chief figure from the Rambo and the Force of Freedom line for absolutely nothing. He knew that I was into collecting the Rambo line, and he had this double, and he's a huge believer in toy karma, as, as am I. And out of the kindness of his heart, he sent this to me. Um, now granted, you know, he's not complete, but he does have his tomahawk, and I was just happy to get this guy because the Series 2 Rambo figures are so rare, I really wasn't planning on picking any up anytime soon <laughs> because they're so expensive. The, the, the fact that he just sent this to me out of the kindness of his heart shows everyone, me and Chad, what a good guy this guy is, and I truly believe that Toy Karma will come back to gift him with something awesome as well. So thank you so much, David. I, I truly appreciate it. You are also the main. Next up is something that I picked up at DE. 
This is the exclusive Figures Inc. release of the Blue Bloods tag team from the old San Francisco Toy Makers action figure line of uh, WCW wrestlers. And this was released in 94, but it never hit the shelves. This was, again, an, uh, at a Figures Inc. exclusive, which is why I never had it as a child. And I was always a big fan of the heels, so this tag team only lasted maybe two years, 95, 96, somewhere around there. And, of course, it is Lord Steven Regal and Earl Robert Eaton. And, of course, Earl Robert Eaton is the infamous Bobby Eaton from the NWA and AWA days of uh, the Midnight Express tag team. And their feud with the Rock and Roll Express and the Road Warriors are legends. I mean, it's just, they're, they're, the Midnight Express is a legendary tag team. Um, if you haven't seen some of their old matches or even the scaffold match with the Road Warriors, I think that was from 86, somewhere around there. Check it out, because it's amazing. Anyway, so this was a tag team that they formed, and they were supposed to be snooty and snobby. Again, they, they didn't last too long. And it, believe it or not, I haven't picked up an old San Francisco WCW figure since I was probably 14 years old. So 26 years ago is the last time I purchased one of these figures. Um, but I had to pick this up being a wrestling collector and the fact that it was an exclusive as well and a cool tag team for as little as they lasted. And for all you wrestling nerds out there, you know that Lord Steven Regal ended up becoming one of the main developers and producers of WWE's NXT developmental territory. Uh, so he's still there today. Also from d and &E, I picked up two AWA figures. This is gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. This is just a bare bones figure. He also came with a robe. Um, and as a part of a tag team set, I believe, from the AWA line. And then this is Stan Hansen. Again, just the bare bones figure. Uh, his carded figure, also in a tag team set, came with like a faux leather vest and chaps, as well as a hat. Uh, a lot of these AWA figures came with random ring entrance gear accessories. And uh, Stan Hansen is a, a pretty well-known wrestler and an iconic hard hitter bruiser type of wrestler from back in the day. He had a pretty cool feud with Lex Luger in WCW in the early 90s where he captured the United States Championship. I think Luger would just eventually get it back from him. But uh, again, he's, he's a pretty legendary wrestler. And you guys know I'm always looking for Clone Wars figures. This is the Stealth Operations Clone Trooper from the Clone Wars series. And this is actually a Toys R Us exclusive. Now you know that I usually like to find Clone Wars figures loose, but for 10 bucks, I certainly was not gonna leave this one behind. I got this at DE. And uh, now granted, it's really against my toy ethics to open any sort of figure. Even if the card is beat, I even have trouble opening things. <laughs> so, um, I will just go ahead and leave this guy in the package. I also got four different Star Tours figures from d and &E. Now these are exclusive to Disney Parks. This is R3-D3 from Star Tours. And G2-4T. This is from Collection 1 of the Star Tours line from 2002. And this line kind of serves as an extension of the Power of the Force and Power of the Jedi line uh, that was regularly released in stores back in the day. Specifically Power of the Jedi. That's kind of what the design of the card is. Um, and again, I, I've just been on a new Star Wars buying kick for some reason. Now new, I mean 20 years old new. <laughs> Technically not vintage, I guess. So they had these. 
And they also had these from Collection 2, DLX2 and WEG, W-E-G, 1618. Also from the same year, but in Collection 2 of the Star Tours action figure line. So next up, it's not a toy, but it is an incredible piece of action figure memorabilia. This is Rad Plastic by Chris Fawcett. This beautiful hardbound book traces the lineage of the Ninja Turtle toy line, the vintage toy line, mind you, all the way through unreleased prototypes, drawings, and hard copies of action figures we never got to see from the late 90s that were, that were planned by Playmates Toys. Now, Chris Fawcett, he is a huge turtle historian and is really fascinated by the early prototypes and drawings. So he thought with a little coaxing from some Facebook group friends <laughs> that he would go ahead and put this tome together. This is 400 pages, guys, of incredible Ninja Turtle toy history. And if you can't tell, I'm a huge Ninja Turtle toy collector. <laughs> so this, this was a given to pick up for me. And it, it's chronological. It goes through year by year of the different releases of the toy line, the action figures, play sets, vehicles, all the way to, like I said earlier, the, uh, the unreleased, look, here's an unreleased one we never got, Sewer War Cat. So guys, if you're a Ninja Turtle fan like me, the, specifically the toys, you owe it to yourself to pick this up. Go to radplastic.com and place your order. It is well worth it. Um, you're never, you're never going to find a more complete tome of vintage Ninja Turtle action figures than this one right here. Rad Plastic. I also wanted to give a shout out to my beautiful wife for picking me up this very cool GoBots t-shirt. It's almost like the usual suspects. They're kind of in a lineup. It has Matt, Leader One, Scooter, Turbo, Psykill, Cop Tour, and Crasher on it. Uh, she got this for me for Valentine's Day. And if that doesn't say true love, I don't know what does. <laughs> that your wife would just, you know, take a mental note and trace down a very cool GoBots t-shirt for her husband. So. Uh, thank you so much, honey. I also wanted to take a moment and highlight some of the other random action figures that I found in the Ghostbusters lot that I picked up uh, last month. This is an Earth Force figure by Pace Toys. This is Red Roger Wolf from 1986. This is from Series 2 of the Earth Force line. And of course, this is more of a generic He-Man type line but set in space <laughs> and uh he's 100 percent complete i i know they're not hugely popular and uh, i mean it's a special toy collecting niche to really want to get into this but the fact that all of his pieces were there was incredible to me uh, his helmet and and boots jetpack and gun so that's a dr red roger wolf and then i also found this 100% complete Leoric action figure from the Visionaries. He is complete with his staff and his whip accessory and helmet, and even has his bio card. There's the front of the card there. Again, this was found in that shoe box of other action figures from the Ghostbusters Hall and my very first Visionaries figure. Also in there was this Landmine Pretenders Transformers figure. I'm a video gamer. I'm a skateboarder. I'm a transformer. New Pretender Transformers are here. Master the power. The power of Pretender Transformers. Pretenders split apart to reveal a powerful robot. Pretenders, they hide the Transformers. And look, there are evil Decepticon Pretenders, too. Transform the Pretenders. Master the power. Pretenders sold separately. Uh, the Pretenders line, while not 
hugely as popular as the original G1s. Now this is part of G1, but I mean regular G1 Transformers. Uh, there's a Transformer inside of this guy, and they came in plastic shells, and uh, the smaller Transformer was inside. He is 100% complete with his helmet, sword, blaster, and then of course the Transformer inside. And he also came with his instruction book as well. This is my very first Pretenders action figure from Transformers. And also in there was a 100% complete G1 Scattershot action figure. Now he is a Technobot and can also be formed with other Transformers as a combiner. So he has a lot of other random accessories here and they were all there. I was dumbfounded to find every single piece of this scattershot figure and as well as his instruction guide and his bio card. So I thought that was cool and adds to that completeness of the action figure itself. So anyway, I kind of wanted to highlight some of the other random figures that came in that Ghostbusters haul. So that's it guys, that's what I picked up recently to add to my ever-growing vintage toy collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel at Rees Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching and keep on hunting.